Hello. Hi. So, you're quite chipper and overindulgent of your emotions. Of course. Can't you see from my smile? And you! Aren't we always the man of too many words to say something simple? <laughs> Perhaps my vocabulary can be toned down a bit. But regardless of what you think, this is how I talk. Same as in regards to how you act. <laughs> Speaking of acting, I saw your little enactment on the news. Care to explain yourself there? Why? Are you worried that you're going to get caught? Huh? <laughs> Big bad Mikhail going to get caught. <laughs> Hardly. I worry, however, that your antics will cause an uproar. While it may lead to your eventual discovery, it will most likely intrude on my own work, making it slower, if not forcing me into a hiatus for a time. See? Told ya! Told ya! <laughs> You're gonna get caught. You're gonna get caught. Me, I wanna get caught. I wanna get it all out in the open. But I want it to be big. Really big. <laughs> Your perchance for the dramatic is always amusing, Victor. But you really do have to think about things in the long run. I understand your love of being a gibbering nihilist can get in the way of your foresight. But if you get caught in one large fell swoop of an event, you won't be able to continue the work. Oh, what's your point? Uh, let's consider this, shall we? This is my most recent work. Notice, no cuts, no destructive contusions, no shows of blunt trauma. As a matter of fact, I might say that he is rather content and happy in his repose. Oh, I love show and tell days. <clears throat> Looky what I did myself. Notice, um, well, you can't notice much. <laughs> no, you can't. What exactly did you do? <laughs> I snuck into the garage, then up to the bedroom. And revved up the lawnmower. <laughs> Splash, splatter. <laughs> there. You killed two at once? Three, technically. You disgust me. Why I continue this with you, I do not know. I would get far more work done without indulging your childlike need for show and tell. Oh, you know why you continue this, Mickey. If you don't, you lose sight of me. And you don't get to keep tabs on me to make sure that I don't go too far. <laughs> Plus, you love me. Victor and Nikki sitting in a tree. K I L L I N G. Ever astute in your mad clarity. And stop dancing on him. I need to return the body prior to his wife returning from cuckolding him. Cucka what? Ah, <sighs> cheating on him. She'll return and think that he died of a sudden heart attack based upon the congenitive heart failure that his family suffers from. She will then run to the embrace of her lover afterwards, whom she has not done her proper research on. Based upon his violent past, he will most likely start to beat her within a month's time. After a few reported incidents of domestic abuse, I will arrive and take care of her and him in my own way. In this case, a violent, rage-filled attempt at murder on his part, and self-defense on hers will suffice. Ah, well, don't you have it all planned out? Unless, of course, some jerk did this! Congratulations. You've contaminated my work with your immature, sanguine finger-painting. 
a smiley face on his peaceful countenance. How droll. No one appreciates my art. <laughs> and no one appreciates the meticulousness it takes to ensure that a corpse appears to have died of one simple mundane malady as opposed to fiendish violent malevolence. Far more skilled hands and a far less excitable personality than your own could have possibly hoped to achieve what I have tonight. Are you insulting me? I'll shove a cherry bomb up your arse and make you watch Bambi's mother's death over and over again until you apologize. Case in point. I should have strangled you in the womb. Your stubby digits at the time wouldn't have been able to perform the gesticulating motions. You know what I mean! <sighs> but you're my brother and I have to love you. Yes, of course. Love is the tie that binds. But that won't stop me from turning you in or killing you myself if need be. Now calm your chaotic work and attempt to do some more planning and forethought for once. Please. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, you spoil sport. Good. Now I have to return the corpse, go home and prep for the day ahead. I will also have to make an appearance at my office, since I will have to receive news of one of my poor patients passing away so suddenly of a heart attack. We should have seen it coming, considering the history in his family. And I warned him that his wife was cheating on him. That's not good for his heart. Oh well. Good night, Victor. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Is he gone? Yes, he's gone. It's just you and me now. Just you and me, my sweet Ariola Major. What's that? You want me to share you with the world. But I'll get jealous. Okay. But 